Hello everybody, Ghost Gen 3 here. Hey, today I was going to show you um, the drag handle on these tack vests I have. And of course many of you have, many of you have tack vests. And so basically I wanted to show you um, how it's used. You've seen my other videos I'm sure of me getting dragged uh, like a man down situation and what to do and how to use the drag handle. So those videos are, are short because uh, it's not that, it'll take that long to drag somebody. And uh, I didn't say anything on them, just wanted to get it done, show you guys how it's used. So on this vest, this is an Infinity Tactical uh, vest, very inexpensive. I keep this spare one for if it's all emergencies and I have some friends, uh, which I have select friends that'll come over, then they can don this on, put it on, and uh, you know, they can do their duties and help out and do whatever they gotta do. So this is very inexpensive, got it at a gun show a long, long time ago for like 25 bucks. Can't beat that. Now, is it as good as my other tack vest? No, uh, but it'll work. It functions, and like I said, it's that's what it's, it's for. It's a spare one for uh, my select group that's gonna survive whatever we're gonna survive. Anyways, this is a, the grab handle here. Now, on this vest, it doesn't. I'm gonna show you my my green one, my other kind. It to me doesn't appear as strong, but it should do the job. And if it doesn't, what I'm gonna demonstrate in this video here. Uh, without a body, of course, is <clears throat> how you would use it. Basically, here, if, if the person's already in, let's pretend the person's already in the tack vest and they're down, it's your buddy. Well, as you saw in the videos, basically you can do it several ways. One, you're going to face away from him and pull. If you want to have your arm bent, if you straighten it out, you're going to hyperextend it or you're going to mess up your shoulder. So obviously you're going to be down on your knees and you're going to pull like this. And that's how you're going to pull them. Now, like I said, you're going to be low. I'm standing up. It's on a table just to kind of give you guys a technique here. But basically, that's one way. The second way is both hands. Well, both hands are difficult because the, the, the grab handle, as you can see, is made for one hand. And for you guys with bigger hands, I have smaller hands, but um, like medium size, it's difficult. So what you're going to do is basically use your, your back. Actually, <laughs> your legs and your back. What you can do is basically pull, and you can hold the person with the other hand, and then you're just going to step backwards and then pull your buddy who's down. So that's the other way. Now the third method, if the grab handle breaks, or there is none, and there are tag vests that don't have this, which I believe they all should, because um, they could be used for so many good things. But let's say it doesn't have it or it snaps, and on one of the videos we were using a hook, just trying to get creative a uh, little device that we we're testing out and that hook we hooked it here that way my friend would have more space because when the person is actually wearing this and they're actually on the ground you actually have to dig under there that's why what we should do is you tell the person if possible to turn to their left or their right depending on their gun side and what they're wearing the reason you see me turning on my videos on that is because then it makes a handle visible and available to my partners that are trying to extract me from the dangerous area or whatever it is. So, if you were to imagine the person wearing this right now, your buddy, you'd have to really dig in because then you have the body weight of the person in there. So, you want to have them turn if, if possible, if they're not that injured or they can, turn them or they turn to the side, then you can grab the handle and then get them out of there. Now, the third way, um, which is going to be universal for everything, I'm going to show you on the uh, chest rigs also, is you grab here you're going to grab here. So let's say the person's in there. This is Velcro here. It's pretty strong Velcro. And this is strapped to adjust, obviously, for your body type or, you know, however the person wants to wear this. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab from under with both hands. You can actually grab with one hand. Now, they're going to be at an angle if you grab with one hand. And if you do, basically, you're pulling them like this. Got your gun out or whatever, and you're heading the opposite direction away from danger. So you can actually do it this way. Keep your arm bent. But... It's going to be a little tougher, so, and depending on the person's weight. So, basically, what you want to do, and like I said, depending on your strength and uh, the man down, woman down, uh, your buddies that you need to get out of there, you're going to use both hands, grab here. Remember, they're going to be in this thing, and then you're going to pull, and that's how you're going to do it. As you're going backwards like this, using, you're going to be low crouching down, so you're going to be using your, sticking out your butt and, and using your legs and pulling back. So that's another way right here. You're just going to pull them and you're just going to drag them until they're, they're safe. 
So let me show you the other attack vest so you guys know. Now you'll see me in this one a lot more because uh, this is one I used to use a lot uh, work. And this obviously here for you know it's padded for a rifle you know rifle but but anyways here's the drag handle this one this is the one you saw on the videos where I was doing my testing or demonstration actually to show you guys much more stronger as you can tell at least I can tell here and obviously I weigh 215 pounds and I'm 5'9 so my buddy dragged that dragged this with the gear on there the mags that obviously weighs too so he pulled this so as you can tell look it's just one handed um, if you needed to also like I told you the third way you grab from here and then you drag your, your partner the man down woman down so you grab here and then pull that's kind of universal with all tack vests even the chest rig which I'm going to show you next because they're a little different but on this one like I said same thing um, your buddy's wearing the tack vest tell him to turn to the side grab it you can pull this way or basically one handed and then your gun's out or whatever and then dragging them as you're dragging backwards uh, or walking backwards crouched so anyways those are the techniques like I said the vest even if it's a cheaper one this is not the, the black one is but this one uh, is a bit better quality and this is obviously Black Hawk we all know they make quality so if you had to like I said grab under the shoulders right here and you pull drag your your, your buddy you know and get him to safety now let me show you now on the chest rigs because they're different you guys have seen this one I did a video on this chest rig which by Condor which I absolutely love remember each vest has its own different um, aspects of what you're going to use depending on mission specific or assignment or whatever you're going to use so anyways um, very comfortable the way you're going to do in this one if someone's wearing it obviously they're wearing it like this and you've seen me on my other videos when I demonstrate this one. Now this has no drag handle. So what you're going to do is the universal method I just showed you. And you're going to use the shoulder straps. And if the person's wearing it, so let's just say the person's down right here, your buddy, and you need to get them out of there. There's no grab handle, you know, unfortunately. But for this kind of vest, it's someone not made for that. But you can use these uh, as strong as these clips are right here and everything, you can use this grab here, or you can even grab one side. And if you grab one side and you have your gun out and you have no choice, <clears throat> expect your buddy's body to turn to the side as an angle as you're dragging him back because you're dragging one, one side. And that's okay as long as you get him out of there. So what you're going to do is grab here, and you're grabbing your buddy, and then you're just going to drag and drag him back. So this is how you do it with this kind of uh, tactical chest rig. You're going to just have to reach under here and pull and then take them, you know, to safety. So I just wanted to show you guys that uh, because there's different um, vests. And a lot of times I have noticed, like I said, very, very few videos have been done on, on, the, on the drag handle and how to do that. So I decided to do that since I've trained in all that stuff. So anyways, I think it's important for a lot of you guys to train. I don't care if you're military, law enforcement, or you're preparing... Uh, your prepper, survivalist, you're preparing for the zombie war, alien attack, I don't care what it is. Um, if you're preparing, you should know how to do this. Because I've noticed many of you guys in your in your organizations, your clubs, your units, have these kind of vests, tack vests, chest rigs. And that's a very important thing. You know, be careful when you're doing it. You don't want to mess up your back, you know, while you're training and stuff. Just kind of watch my video. If you have questions, ask. It's pretty much you can figure it out. But, but the point is, try it at least once. Because the day you actually have to do it, you know, you want muscle memory. So that's why you, you train, and I do this all the time. When you have to do that, and one of your buddies is down, ankles messed up, whatever. Well, <clears throat> somebody's got to pull them, right? Somebody's got to help, hopefully. Instead of just uh, leaving them to die. <laughs> Some people will do that. But anyways, so I'm giving you the techniques right now on how to extract your buddies and pull them and use this, you know. And, you know, my buddy made it look simple, but you're pulling heavy people. And even if they're lighter, you know, you're pulling them. But usually when you're dragging someone, it's not going to be for a, a very long distance. As long as you can get to cover, uh, get them to safety, you know, he or she, that's what you need to do. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I just basically, like I said, those are the techniques uh, for these chest rigs. You're going to have to pull the, 
harnesses and just pull back with both hands. You can do it with one, but it's probably recommended just with two. And you can even stand the person up or whatever. Or two of you can actually, um, if two of you came up, your buddy's on the right side, you're on the left. He can grab this with one hand or two. And you can do the same, and then both of you guys pull back like that. So you can do a two-man, and I'll show you another one right now. <coughs> on these type right here, that's another thing, two-man, and I'm probably going to demonstrate that. And uh, eventually in another video, your buddy can come up here. The drag handle, obviously there's only one. So your buddy comes up here, right above the shoulder right here. And the other guy comes here, so both of you are going to be pulling them out and sharing the weight and, uh, and the strength. So that's also a third way of doing it. You can have two people doing it that way. So now you guys know the importance of you know the drag handle So and what it's for. Um, if you could, too, you could even tie something and then... Uh, a rope or something strong with a carabiner and then you know extract you know you get to safety and then you and a bunch of uh, your friends and your teammates team members can start pulling uh, the injured person down you know or I'm sorry out of the, the threat area so anyways uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video know your drag handles know what they're for now you guys know what you can do with them what you can't if it breaks remember go from the sides and then drag them and that's very important and you guys will be able to uh, figure that out anyways ghost team three out hope you guys enjoyed the video click on the like button uh, leave comments questions anything else i'll be more than happy to answer them take care god bless